morning, fireflies. Uh, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. What does it hold for us all? I think we're all holding our breath, aren't, aren't we? <laughs> we made it through, through 2020, so I think really we all just need a big pat on the back. <laughs> so let's just jump on in, guys. I have a project. This is going to be a series that we are going to work on. Um, so let's just jump in and let me explain what is, am I going to do with these window envelopes. Well, we're not going to worry so much about them being window. This can be um, any envelope. I just have an abundance of these. If you've been following me, you know already how many of these I've got. And I need to use them. So I've never made an accordion journal before and I just thought I'm going to give it a try. We're going to try this together. And I've measured these uh, envelopes I've got. They're four and a quarter by eight and a half. So they are very <clears throat> close to a TN size. And I just think I'm going to not bother cutting anything other than I'm going to snip off the top just so that we can create some pockets on these. So let's just jump in and get started. You are going to need, <coughs> excuse me, for the one I'm making, you're going to need four envelopes. Now, what that's going to do is give us three journals. If you want to move, you know, <coughs> sorry, if you want to make that, <coughs> excuse me, guys, into five or six, you know, I mean, you could you can just go and go and go, but because this is the first attempt at this, I thought I better keep this short. And as we know, by the time I add flips and and things to it, it it'll end up a very large project. And if I just if I make it too big, it's it's just going to turn into too many uh, parts. So the first thing I've decided to do is just put these envelopes together <clears throat> you that way it kind of reinforces the area that's going to be the spine but we aren't going to rely completely on that because I always like to add a bit of fabric just to make sure because it is just paper and I'll tell you my glue has been sitting for a little while so oh it's working yeah I'll be straight up honest with you I just closed up the studio it's a mess um, that is something I'm going to probably have to spend a bit of time on here in the next day or so with some organization uh, but I've got to give some thought to it <laughs> I watched a video a um, couple of days ago and a woman was saying she's like a an organizing and I didn't subscribe so I can't uh, share with you who it was but she's an organizer on YouTube and she was saying that a crafters studio never gets you're never done organizing and I thought boy doesn't she know um, I mean I've been organizing now for years and it's still there's still things little things I can see that I need to um, to work on. So as you can see I'm just going to glue these down and then we're going to add some fabric to it. Now of course you could um, coffee or tea dye these first. I haven't done so for the purposes of this but I think in the future if this all if I enjoy making these that's probably something I would do in the next step. Um, that is another task I have been putting off is tea dyeing guys and I am now at the point where I have to do it and oh boy do I not like I don't enjoy that part of journal making at all I wish I did uh, but it's it's just um, it's just one of those things you've got to just grin and bear it <laughs> okay so just so you can get an idea what we're gonna do is come back and add a strip of fabric here, 
on the outside and then we're going to put a strip here and what that's going to do is join these together so that this will be the front cover we'll open it up we'll have a journal here and then of course this gives us an opportunity to create some pockets and flaps. And then you'll come over to here. That will be a journal again. And this will be the back. And then you can open it up here. And we'll have another journal there. So that's why they call this an accordion. <clears throat> I've never done one of these before. So I would recommend you watch the series throughout before you... You make it because oftentimes when I haven't done it, I might decide actually it would have been better had I done this, this, and this. Because I've already given some thought to how um, the closure, and I had considered well, could I run a stitch along here, for example? And then you would have your thing here and here. But the problem with that is you would be tying it, closing it there, and that would still be floppy. So for <clears throat> the first one, I'm inclined to just probably do a closure with some sorry. As I said, as it goes along through it, I can see if there's a way that it could be added differently. I, in my mind, I, I, I haven't been able to work that out until we get further into it. Okay, so there, that's my thinking on the closure. So now that I've got these glued together, all I want to do is I want to open those envelopes up. So I'm just going to snip off that's about a quarter of an inch and I'm lining these up because sometimes they can be a little bit off these um, envelopes and I'm hoping that's going to go through for those. I've been wanting to get one of the Fiskars um, rotary cutters, but I have held off, guys, because I'm still hoping I'm going to be moving. <laughs> and I thought, well, there's no point in me buying one and then having to pay to get that moved back. So, um, so yeah, just make do. Make do with what you've got. So now, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, this will be great because I can have four large tags that we can pull out and those would be great for adding photos within it or extra journaling space. Okay, so now let me grab some supplies and we are going to start getting our fabric on and then covering this with whatever um, scrapbook papers, digital kits. Uh, that'll be the next step. We'll get this covered and we will just work part one on getting the base of the um, the journal ready. So I will be right back guys. Okay guys, I have decided on the kit that I'm going to use and this is an Artie Mays uh, Butterflies in Blue kit. Uh, I've worked with this numerous times. love this kit. And then I found a piece of this Tim Holtz um, fabric. I could not tell you which one this is or if it's even still available because I've had this for a couple years at least now. Um, so the first thing I wanted to do is make sure, yep, that will work. So what I'm going to do is cut this in half. And then we are just going to get some thin strips um, because it's going to be covered, most of it's going to be covered 
I'm going to go do these at about two inches because I want a little bit of it showing because it's such pretty fabric. So I'm just going to guess at about two inches so I can get three strips out of that. That'll still leave me enough because um, I would imagine I'll end up doing another one of these. So I can already see I've got to glue down where I've when I took the um, top off of these envelopes, they do that. So just get those little bits glued down. And don't go too far in because it will interfere in the size jour uh, journal card you can make. So do bear that in mind. You don't want to go too far in, otherwise you can only have a thin journal card. Okay, so... I know that these are going to come together, so that's going to be the first one. I'm going to go ahead and get that down. So I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch gap so that um, that's going to give us some room to expand with the papers inside there. And because this is going to take a little while, I've got the tacky glue here I'm working with. Um, what I'm going to do is just get this glued, and then I will have to set this to the side. Let that dry, because the tacky glue takes longer to dry than Fabri-Tac. And then I'm going to um, start working on getting the papers cut because I want to get the papers down and then we're going to go back and uh, stitch once we've got everything. But I, would, I want to get the fabric on before because I'm going to come back. It depends on, you know, you could put your paper down then have this over it, but I don't want too much of this showing. So I'm actually happy to go ahead and get that on there, and then I'll come back with the coordinating, you know, our digitals and cover it. So just want to make sure I've left. That's pretty even. Yeah, that that's fine. You don't have to be too fussy with this stuff. And now I know that. And this is where the outside, I want to uh, have these other strips glued. Okay, so hopefully now you can see. So this will be your journal, journal, we'll turn it over, cover that, and then this will be a journal. So you'll end up with three. So I think that's going to be really, really fun. And I've just got our papers printed. I thought, I love this color. I thought that would be really pretty on the inside. And then probably um, this one. And then I'll need another for the other one to do for the insides, I think. So, okay. So let's decide now. And I can, I'll trim these fabrics off. A little bit later once we've got everything done
I'm just going to get the white off of this because I just realized that I might have to tweak this because I'm not sure that this is going to be the length that I need until I get that white off. Yeah, see that's going to show too much of the envelope. So that being said, what I'm going to have to do now is we're going to go with this paper on the back of it and then we're going to build up some layers which is fine um, I'd just rather do it I, I don't want to have that much of that envelope showing so what did I say let me write this down because my brain is just not retaining so I'm thinking I'm going to go about four Four by eight and an eighth. So let's go eight and one eighth and get that trimmed off and then four. Okay guys, let's get this over here. So if I get that down, yep, and go ahead and get that glued down. <clears throat> And then, like I said, the stitching will be the last thing we do. And I'm going to have to change my sewing machine. I'm going to put this over to black. I have not sewn using black thread in a long, long time. I don't know why. Um, I was using it quite well. I do know why, because I haven't been making nature drinks lately. Um, it's been quite a while, really. Um, so that's, that's the reason I haven't. So I'm just going to center that up and get that down. Alright guys, so at this point I'm, I'm just going to carry on getting my layers down here so I'm gonna shut the camera off at, at this point otherwise it's gonna turn into a, you know a two-hour video so let me just do that when I come back we will then get the um, design of the cover and then we'll have this step over so I will be back and you can see how it looks at that point hello guys okay so it's occurred to me and I thought I better jump on here just very quickly to show you that when I've cut my papers, I've been left with this bit here. Now, when you sew in the signature, there won't be much of that showing, but I don't want that. So I just came back and did like a about a two-inch strip and put that... Um, down there and again it's just going to reinforce that spine now if you were to bring your fabric inside and out you would not have to do this but i just thought i i want to make sure that you know you you were aware of what i had done so that it's completely uh covered so just very quickly get this down and i've decided to keep the same color and then the third journal I've went with that contrasting kind of a gold. Just 
Make sure I've got that lined up where I want. And then, like I said, this will just cover that. And it just finishes it off really nicely. The next one I'll probably um, just use fabric on both sides. Uh, the reason I'm not this time is I am low on um, the muslin fabric, which was pro that was really ideally what I was going to use on this, but um, I found that Tim Holtz, and I thought because it is expensive fabric t to be used for this, but it was all I could come up with till I can get some more just plain muslin ordered. I don't know how I've run out of it, but I have, so. We just make do, don't we? Lord knows I got a, enough fabric in there. Um, but, you know, sometimes when you're projects like this, it's not easy to coordinate your fabric to these designs. Um, that's where the muslin really comes in. Nice. Um, because it will go with anything, so. So it will take a little bit of working to get those um, seams back, but don't worry, we're gonna come back over this with some stitching and that's gonna hold all that down really nice. So, and then this, this section here is where we're going to go with this. This is one of my favorite kits. It's um, it's just got so many beautiful colors in it, and I have made many a journal out of this. This one. fun to do a different project. Um, I'm kind of excited about this because it's it's something, you know, different and uh, we all get kind of, you get bored if you do the same things over and over. So it's really nice to mix it up with something a little bit different. Okay. All right. Well, you can see, guys, that's, um, an, I'll, um, I'll do that later. Let's just carry on with the front and then we'll, because I've got to print out another sheet so that I've got enough for that. So, um, I'll do that after we're done. Let's just carry on with the cover. And I'm inclined to put, I'm thinking about a pocket with a big tag here. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Which way to go with it? Oh dear. I liked the idea of this, 
but I don't know if I can squeeze that in. Wishes come true. Let me see if I can trim that down to make that fit. Because I want to make sure I get that butterfly in. Well, I know that's four inches. Let me see. Could I do it? I'll tell you what I'll do. I can trim that down even more. Let me just get this little bit up here and see how. Because I don't want, if I put a pocket, I don't want to cover that. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do that. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to give this some thought, so bear with me, because um, what I think I would rather do is build up this front and then incorporate a pocket on the back. That would be cool, and then a tag. So give me give some thought. Let me get some layering going, because um, I like this. Wishes come true. I think that's that's got to be the focal point on the front there. So let me figure out how I can do this so I will. Okay guys, I've had a chance to play around and this is what I think. I've got this lace. I'm going to have that under there. This is handmade paper that was gifted to me. And then I've just brought that down because I really do like that saying, wishes come true. And then this is a bit of uh, handmade paper and I'm going to stamp uh, this is the Tim Holtz butterfly and moths and I don't know why I have started having all sorts of trouble with my um, stamps sticking um, and I don't know if it's because this room has been getting cold but uh, oh, here it goes let's hope it will stay on I might need to clean my blocks again. And then that'll be the focal. Um, I'll probably put a bit of twine around that underneath, maybe. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to take this to the machine. I'm going to do an outline here. Come back and uh, I'll, we'll, we'll take it at that point because there's going to be quite a bit of stitching going on. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, guys. I just wanted to come back and point out I've found another flaw in my, my, my little plan here. Because I wanted this to... Um, have pockets. I should have done the stitching on the paper before gluing it down. So this journal is not going to have it unfortunately because it's more important to me to have that stitch work than to keep those pockets. Um, so that you want to keep that in mind and make sure <laughs> that your front, uh, you've got your pockets up. Uh, it's probably just as well that this didn't turn out because all my pockets were going to be on the bottom. <laughs> anyway, so those are some little things to think about because um, there again, now you're seeing the back of the stitching, which you know I'm not going to worry about, but I would ideally I would have preferred each section um, stitch. So keep that in mind. Just little things that you can learn from my boo boos. <laughs> uh, so now. I know that this is too long, this lace. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to go over and stitch these two together. Then I'll stitch those to the lace. And then I'm going to um, stitch around this. But we're going to add some um, do, 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 uh, thread before we adhere that. So I will be back with the final 
step of this and then we'll alrighty guys I've got that stitched all is one and Gonna have that as the focal point now. I want to put some red. This is just some linen thread. I think I just want to do some of this around. Okay, I'm actually not crazy about the bow, so what I will do is just tie it off. I thought it might look nice, but it's, I, I don't like that, so I'm just going to tie it off under here, and that will all get glued down. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like all thumbs today. I, <laughs> I think I was saying in the last video... When, oh boy, I've made a big old mess out of that, haven't I? Um, I was saying in the last video, when, when you haven't um, been creating for a while, it's just like, wow, I've got to get back into the groove of it. And today, yeah, it's, I feel like my, I'm just working with about ten thumbs. <laughs> okay, so I just don't want that. I could just put it under there. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just put a little bit of glue there to hold those ends. There. That's fine. better. Okay, now get this all put on and then that will be the base and then the next thing we'll work on is getting our signatures put in here. such a hard time with this glue. Wow, I'm seriously going to have to get something different. These bottles are giving my hands a fit. I used to have a really strong grip, but when you get older, it uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's arthritis, I hope not, but oh yeah, I'm happy with that. So, you know, <clears throat> At this point, you can start to trim up some of this excess fabric. Make sure I'm happy with that. Yeah, I like that. Now, I still may add a book plate. You know, you know how these things go. You just keep... Keep adding to them. I just want to trim off some of this, and then I'll... 
play around with it and get it unraveled a little bit more. Now, the other thing, and I intended to do this um, earlier, <clears throat> and I didn't, is we want to get all these white edges inked up. So once I leave you guys, all I've got to do now is go through in each panel I'm going to sew the same as I did on the front one. And so when you come back to part two, you will see that that will have been done. But bearing in mind that it, doing it again, I would stitch each uh, panel before I adhered it. So do be mindful of that guys because it's so easy when you get started making these things to jump ahead and um, you might accidentally do that and you wouldn't. You, I, I personally think it's going to look a lot nicer if it's, it'll be more finished that way you see. Um, so that's all I will do before um, I come back with part two is make sure all the stitching is already done and then we will get our papers um, for the signatures sewn in. I think I'm going to keep this fairly plain. I think probably five pages per signature that's going to give you a total of four, 15 which would be 60 front and back. That's quite a bit because otherwise you could just risk this thing turning into a massive. Um, I don't want to put, you know, make it too bulky, but I think even five each, you're probably still going to end up with it being, you know, a nice size. Because um, I will add a few pockets inside, but I'm going to keep it pretty plain in that we'll just do some stenciling and stamping on the pages so that it, it'll be a lot of writing and then where we'll get our elements are going to be on these pages. We'll try to come up with some really cool flips and pockets and things and, and just keep the, the, the signature for writing is, is what I'm thinking. So this hopefully this won't drag out into a super long series, but I do hope you've enjoyed it. I'm super happy with how it's come out. Again, I wish I would have, um, oh, I've got to finish this as well. I wish I would have stitched this prior because I think it would be really nice to have those long journal tags um, in each of those envelopes. I think that would be a really nice little feature, but I didn't do it. Hey-ho. Uh, I mean, having said that, I'll tell you what you could do. If you if you do make a boo-boo, you could take slice off just a hair, and you could make a side pocket. I'm not going to bother, um, but if I did that, I would probably make two pockets and, you know, glue so that you could have a tag here and a tag here. But I'm not going to bother because, like I said, we're going to get all of our interactive flips and things going on inside. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me, um, and I'll be back soon with part two. Bye-bye.